Welcome everyone. This is going to be a collective message. Okay, so this is going to be for all signs. Um, we're just going to do a, a really quick read. Okay. Um, let me grab some sage. I'm going to run through the signs really quick, and I may do a little bit of pendulum reading, okay? And if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, readings are currently $44.44. .44. Um, I accept PayPal and Cash App. The information will be below in the drop box for you to book your very own personal reading. The slots are limited because I only do a certain amount of readings per day. All right. Um, the turnaround time, depending on how soon you book. Okay. But the, I try to get the turnaround time to be kind of quick. That's why I only do a certain amount of readings per day. All right. So let's start off. Okay. With the, these are going to be sun signs energies. And we're going to start off with, um, let's start off with Capricorn. And if we need to pull the pendulum, if I have additional, like if I need some additional clarity on something, then I'll pull the pendulum. All right. So let's do what's coming towards you <clears throat> for a collective. Okay. Now that we are currently out of the Mercury retrograde um, period, things should be, you know, there is a, a shadow phase, but things should be calming down a lot more. Communication should be a little bit better now. Those exes that came back, you should know what you want to do with them by now. Like, you know, that's where I feel like a lot of us are right now, currently. All right. We can now move forward with our plans. Okay. So let's see what's coming in, what's coming towards us. We want to start off with Capricorn and go all the way to Sagittarius. Okay. So, what's coming towards Capricorn? Thank you. I got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. All right. So, I feel like some of you guys are becoming impatient. Okay. We got the Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, which is you guys' energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn like yourself, a Virgo or a Taurus. <clears throat> or this could be in regards to your finances. You know, y'all don't pay about y'all money. Give me a clarifier for the seven of pentacles. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Okay. I feel like you guys are losing patience in a situation you've tried to find balance and healing on. But it's just like you're losing patience. Okay. With the four of pentacles and the star card, you're still holding on to hope. <clears throat> for the situation to balance out. But I feel like you're just losing patience in the situation, okay? Capricorn, Aquarius. Okay, what's coming towards... I feel like also Capricorns, um, someone here is not putting in as much effort. You could, you know, be feeling like, what's the point of putting in the effort in the situation, okay? Because I, I see clearly that you guys aren't putting in any effort into the situation anymore. All right, so Aquarius, what message is there for Aquarius, please? We got the Nine of Cups in the reverse and the King of Wands. The Three of Swords wanted to pop out too. Okay, so the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment that isn't coming to fruition, okay? This could also be like an illusion. Someone could be putting an illusion in front of you. It could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries, okay? Um, could be trying to um, confuse you or <clears throat> make something seem that it's something that is not, okay? I feel like some of you may not want to take action towards something or someone as well. Pisces, what message is there for Pisces? What's coming towards Pisces? Ten of Pentacles. 
okay, Pisces? Some of you guys are working, okay? You're building. You are building. Some of y'all are building. Um, things may have been slow in the past. Um, business could have been going a little slow. But I feel like you know for a fact that you needed to make some changes, okay? So I feel like you are in the process of making changes, but I definitely do see business here, very business oriented. Um, you may be in a position to where you don't want to co-op, you don't want to collaborate with other people. You may just be focused wanting to work alone, okay? But your focus is on your bag, on your money. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. Okay, we're on Aries. Aries. Okay. We got the Page of Cups in the reverse. And you guys' this energy. Okay, so. Ooh. Aries. And we got the Five of Swords in the reverse and the Devil. This is all bad. Like, this is the most negative. Somebody could be coming at you raw, nasty, uncut. Jealousy, envious type energy, okay? They could be feeling like that because you are being yourself. We know that you are very, very outgoing. You speak your mind. Come on now. Everybody know what the Aries, what the Aries be on. But it's like waiting for somebody to say something. Like you might be waiting for them to come towards you just so you can say something. <laughs> that is so Aries. Okay, is Aries in conflict? I want to see. Is Aries, is some of my Aries in conflict with someone? Is someone jealous of my Aries? My Aries subscribers. My Aries will seem like they got some haters. Yup. Yup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It went to yes. So y'all waiting for somebody to say something, y'all? <laughs> y'all waiting for somebody to say some slick shit. That's what it seemed like. I'm waiting on them. Say it. Say it. I dare you. Say it. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. Let's hop in. What's coming in towards Taurus? Y'all out the chain. <laughs> Taurus. Okay. All right, so we got the Four of Wands and the Nine of Swords, okay? So, it looks like another card wanted to pop out too, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like you're worried about stability, okay? You may be focused a lot on your home life, okay? For some of you, this is an actual home. This is a marriage um, or some type of community or group. With the Four of Wands, like I said, this is about stability, I feel like there could be a little sense of worry, okay? There's a little bit of anxiety, okay? A little bit of anxiety, possibly about money, okay? How are you going to manifest? You're trying to manifest something here, okay? I definitely see this, like, a, trying to manifest something here. And you trying to manifest this is causing a little bit of anxiety, okay? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Is that right? Yeah. Gemini, yeah. What is coming towards Gemini's? Five of Cups in reverse. And the Three of Swords. Okay, well, someone's regretting. Someone's getting over something, though. Um, ooh. Okay, Gemini's. I'm getting a big no. We got the death card and the ace of wands. It's a big no. Like a no card. No energy. Um, no peace is what I'm getting. Like there's no balance in the situation. There's no peace in it. Someone here is feeling like regrets or crying over spilled milk because someone is, I feel like you guys are trying to get over some pain or you have gotten over some pain. Why is the three of swords here? For Gemini's. Or someone's regretting hurting somebody. Okay, yeah. The star card. You can be dealing with the Aquarius. But you lost hope in a situation. 
you don't have any faith in the situation and you realize that like there's nothing there anymore um i feel like a lot of you guys have lost faith in a situation someone some of you guys are just crying over spilled milk or you just feeling regretful is are my gemini's feeling regretful no is my gemini's carrying around any sorrow or pain Some of you are, okay? Some of you are. But some of you may be feeling as if, um, yeah. Some of you may be feeling as if um, you're over this, okay? Why is the Father Cups in the reverse? Like, you're no longer having regrets about it. Why is the Father Cups in the reverse here? Yeah. The judgment. Hard. That's the final decision. So maybe you regret you had to make some type of decision. Maybe it was a hurtful decision. Or this is someone, someone, this is about what's coming towards you. So someone could be coming towards you with that type of energy. Okay. And telling you how they, um, someone feels bad about something here. Maybe someone is hoping that you've gotten over the pain that they caused you. Um, so, I feel like this may not be you feeling like this, Gemini's. This is someone coming towards you feeling like this. Cancer. What message is this put up there for Cancer? What's coming towards Cancer? Ooh. High Priestess. And the five of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so intuitively, you knew, you know that this situation that you possibly were in wasn't going to last long. Okay, um, five of pentacles in reverse is saying that you've come out of a bad situation. Intuitively, you knew that you was going to come out of it. We got the king of cups at the bottom of the deck and the ace of swords and the eight of wands. Okay, so definitely you are expressing that. Okay, you are expressing that. You're telling, you're speaking your truth. Um, about how you feel, okay, about a bad a situation may have been something that you were in, um, and you're ready to talk about it, you're ready to express. You've came out of that situation. Why is the five principles here in the reverse? You're no longer in that in that dark place. Why is the five principles in the reverse? Yeah, the Empress. Okay, so you yes, you have came out of this dark place, okay? You've you've gotten out of this. You are now the empress, okay? You are now carrying this empress energy. For some of you, you may have felt like down on yourself or didn't feel like you were worthy or didn't feel like you were enough. You now feel powerful. You now feel you're carrying that empress energy. You feel abundant. You feel like you got everything that you need to manifest your desires, okay? So you, you guys, wow, this is dope energy. This is extremely dope energy. I love that. Okay. Trouble and, and dark <laughs> darkness don't last always. Okay. You guys are coming out of that. Lovely. I love it. I love, love, love that. Good energy, Cancers. Good for you. All right. So what's after Cancer? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. My lioness, lion, Leo. Okay, so what's coming towards Leo's? What's coming towards Leo's? Okay, we got the Seven of Swords and the Reverse. Leo's, what's going on? What's going on, huh? And the Temperance card. Okay, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like you are... We got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands. I feel like you are trying to balance something out. You're trying to heal from something that may you may have found out was a lie. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords here in the reverse? Someone took something from you or you feel taken advantage of? Okay, somebody got caught in a lie. Or someone, you're getting ready to catch somebody in the lap. Flat out. 
We got justice here at the bottom of the deck. This is a karmic situation. Some of you guys are dealing with them and are in a karmic situation, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somebody got caught or is getting ready to get caught up in there. Gets caught smack dab in their tracks. Why is the, why is the temperance card here? Okay. The temperance card, six of swords in the reverse. Okay. Something about a distance, being at a distance. Okay, so maybe you're keeping your distance from this person just to keep the peace, okay? Um, to protect or to take up, um, just trying to protect something here, a bond or a connection. Virgos. Okay, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn's energy, but um, with the Knight of Pentacles being in, this one to come out initially. Some of you guys might be dealing with the Capricorn or a Libra Gemini Aquarius, okay? But somebody here is kind of pissed, okay? So, I'm, I'm getting, I hope you keep that same energy. Flat out. I hope you keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Star, four of pentacles, four of cups, five of swords. Don't change. Uh -uh. Keep that same energy, baby. Keep that same energy. You were dragging your feet. Nah, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. That is exactly what I'm getting for y'all. Keep that same energy. Either this is what how you're coming towards somebody or somebody's coming towards you we keep that same energy dog <laughs> all right so capricorn aquarius pisces aries taurus gemini cancer leo virgo libra i normally have this written down but this was really random okay so now we're on libras eight of cups in the reverse Uh, I can't leave him alone. That's all I hear. I can't leave him alone. <laughs> all right, so there could be quarrels about money, okay, or stability. I feel like um, someone is going back and forth. There's a the, the Libra energy could definitely be the Empress as well, but I'm getting like a mom and a dad here as well, or a mother and a child energy um there's this temporarily temporary thing going on um and someone's asking for money or there's quarrels about money but something that you don't want to return to like you i feel like some of you don't want to go back and ask somebody to help you or don't want to ask somebody to you know do something for you is what i'm getting like i'm just getting like you don't want to seem needy okay um Gemini. No, we did Gemini. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. All right, now we're on Scorpio. What message is there for Scorpio? What's coming towards Scorpio? Queen of Cups. You guys, this energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the full reverse. Okay, so someone here is hesitating. Someone is not willing to take a risk. Okay. There's this motherly energy again. I'm getting like mother and child is what I'm getting as well here for Scorpios as well too. But somebody's guard is up. Someone is not willing to drop their guard here. We got Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Fool, um, Aries energy. I, I feel like... Um, I'm sorry, Sagittarius energy. I feel like someone is just not willing to take a risk. Someone is not budging, okay? You can't get somebody to budge. Somebody can't get you to budge. Somebody guard is up a little too tight, okay? And now let's go to Sagittarius. What message is there for Sagittarius? What's coming towards Sagittarius? Oh, Five of Swords. I'm getting jealousy. Ooh, power. Okay, somebody's jealous here. <laughs> this is something that possibly came or is getting ready to happen out of the blue. 
um, I'm getting like this uh, this issue. I'm getting like a big issue. Somebody has some big issue. You got Cherry in reverse, Cancer's energy. You guys have very a lot of water energy here. So you could be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Preferably a Cancer, okay? Oh, there is ooh, there's an ending. Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, Death. There's definitely an ending. Somebody is cutting somebody off, period. Somebody's ready to cut somebody out. Somebody's ready to cut somebody off. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, y'all. So, I hope these messages were helpful for y'all. Okay? I just felt like doing that. This was just something random. And this is what's coming towards you guys. If you guys want to book your very own personal reading, that information is going to be in the drop box below. Okay? I'm currently running um, specials right now for $44.44. .44. For your very own personal reading, okay? Um, it is going to be a full detailed reading. comes with your read as well as advice. And you get a free bonus question using the pendulum as well, okay? All right, so don't forget to comment, share with your family and friends, and subscribe if you are new. And until next time, I will chat with y'all later.